Welcome to a new unit. We are now starting Unit 5, um, Algebraic Connections to Geometry. It will also be called Coordinate Algebra. How is algebra found in these geometry topics, these, this geometry content? This first video is going to remind us on how to write equations of a line. I'm going to go through and do all of the odd examples. And then I'll have you, or I encourage you to finish the evens and check your answers on the block. So one way we can write an equation is if we're given the slope and the y-intercept. Remember the equation of a line is y equals mx plus b, where m represents your slope and the b part represents your y-intercept. And then we'll work to simplify the equation if necessary. So if I'm following these steps of y equals mx plus b, I know that I'm going to have a y equals x. That's always the standard part of our equation. I substitute in my slope, which is negative 5. And I can substitute in my y-intercept, which is a positive 2. So that will be a plus 2. So with the information we've been given, we can write this slope-intercept form. Again, we have y equals mx plus b. So we'll have y equals x. It says my slope is 0, so for now I'm just going to substitute that in for m. My y-intercept is 3, so that's plus 3. Well, Anything times zero is zero. That's our zero product property. So this isn't necessary. So this is a case where we could simplify our equation and write y equals three. My slope is zero. I'm going to have a horizontal line that crosses when y equals three. Let's look at from a graph. If we're given a graph, how can we pull this information? So it says using Two good points on the graph find the slope. So good points to me are typically the x and the y-intercepts, or two points that perfectly cross um, the crosshairs of our graph. So to find that slope, let's see, I'm going to use this y-intercept, and I'm going to choose to use this point here. If you can find another good point, that's fine. That's up to you. So this is up for and over 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just double checking. So that's my slope. So my slope is rise over run, just so you don't forget. And my B value is at 2. So substitute the slope and the y-intercept again into our slope equation. So we're going to have y equals x. My slope is 5 four fifths, and then this is plus two. Okay. So that's the equation of my line. I have a positive slope. I have a positive equation. All right. Number seven. This is a negative slope, so I should have a negative equation. I should find something to be negative. So here's my y-intercept. I'll use that as a perfect point, and this looks to be a perfect point. So that's 1, and then down 1, 2, 3. So if my slope is rise over run, that's negative 3 over 1. And my B value is again at 2. So Y equals X. And so I'm going to substitute in my slope here and my Y intercept. Again, I have a negative slope. That matches the negative slope of my line. Number nine, my slope is a horizontal line, or my line is horizontal. It only crosses through y equals. This is the graph to number three that we just wrote. So my slope is going to be zero. So my slope is zero because I have a horizontal line. And my y-intercept is going to be at three. So this is just y equals three. 
I'm going to skip 11. I know I said do odds, but I want to talk about an undefined line. Remember, anything that's vertical, that's the undefined slope. So I'm, my equation is not going to have a y in it. It's going to be x equals a negative 6 because it only crosses my x-axis at that one point. There's no y value that represents it. All right, let's look at the next side. All right, write an equation of a line given m and a point. So there's a couple of ways that we can work this out. <laughs> Excuse me. We can substitute for n and put the slope back into y, my slope intercept form. So just so you remember the names of these, this is the slope intercept form. But I personally like to use the point slope form. which is y um, minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. I just like the way this substitutes better. I don't have to substitute and solve and come back and look at it. Um, but I'm going to work a couple of these problems. Well, I'll do every other one. So you can see the difference in how each of them are used, and you can choose what works best for you. So in this first one, let's use slope-intercept form. So I'm looking to substitute in y equals mx plus b. I know my slope is 2. They gave me that. Um, I have a point of a x value of 2 and a y value of 3. And so I'm going to have to solve for my b value. So this is going to be 3 equals 4 plus b. So b is equal to a negative 1. Once I have that, then I can rewrite my equation using my slope of 2 and that y-intercept I just found a negative 1. Okay. Using the point-slope formula, I'm going to have y minus equals blank x minus. This is supposed to be an equal sign. That's just a typo. So my slope is a negative 2. And I'm going to substitute in my ordered pairs here. So negative 5 and 3. And I can solve it from here. So y minus 3 is equal to negative 2 times x plus 5. I'm just going to simplify that for myself. y minus 3 is equal to a negative 2x minus 10. I distribute. And my last step, if I want an equation of a line, I'm going to add the 3. So y equals negative 2x minus 7. I just personally think that's a whole lot easier than finding it, substituting it, but that's a personal preference. I'm going to continue through. We'll use slope-intercept form for this example. So we have y equals mx plus b. So y equals plus b. So we won't even have the y equals. I'm substituting in a point, aren't I? My slope is 1 half. And I'm substituting in the point negative 1, negative 2. So this is going to be a negative 2 equals a negative 1 half plus b. I'm going to add the half over. So if I do that, just for sanity's sake, it's going to be negative 2 plus 0.5. So negative 1.5 is equal to b. So y equals x. My slope is 1 half. And my y-intercept is negative 1.5. One more time, let's use that point-slope example.
So we'll have y minus equals my slope times x minus. My slope is 3. The ordered pair I'm substituting in the x value is 3 and my y value is 0. So this is going to be y equals 3x minus 9. Because I can distribute that 3. And here's my equation. All right, write an equation of a line given two points. We have to use the slope formula. So if I'm given two points, I have to use the slope formula. Now, before you holler at me what you think the slope formula is, be careful. Your slope formula is only to solve for m. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. That's the slope formula. So we're going to have to use that first. So over here, let's work it out. So my m is equal to, remember this is x1 and y1, x2 and y2. So we'll say 5 minus 3 all over 4 minus 2. That's equal to 2 over 2, which is 1. So then I have a couple options here. I can go back and use my slope intercept form, or I can use my point slope form. And I'm going to use one of these two points. So I'll switch up my examples again. So y equals mx plus b. So we found our slope is 1. And I can choose any of these points. I'm just going to choose the first one. So this is going to be times 2 equals 3. And I'm still solving for b. So 3 equals 2 plus b. So b equals 1. And y equals x plus 1. That slope of an understood one doesn't need to be written. Another example, we'll use the point slope example. So we have to find our slope first. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. 2 over a negative 2, so m equals a negative 1. Using that point slope form, y minus x minus. Again, I'm just going to pull the first point. It doesn't matter. So x is 2, y is 2, and we found our slope to be a negative 1. So y minus 2 equals a negative x plus 2. I distributed the negative. So y equals a negative x plus 4. And really, there's my y-intercept, so I could have just substituted that in. Last example for the video, I'm going to use both. I'm going to do point slope and I'm going to do slope intercept form. But I have to find my slope first. So m is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. So y2, y1, x2, oh, that's what I did. There's my mistake. That should be a 4. So that's equal to a negative 3 over 1. So my slope is a negative 3. So if we do y equals mx plus b, um, we'll use this first point here again. So 4, 5. Sorry for that awkward pause. The video is about to time out, but as you can see, I get the same answer regardless of what form I choose. 